My brother called me and told me he had just found a mature buck. He had seen it about three miles away and unsure how big he was, I gathered the kids and made the two hour trip. We had 24 hours to get this buck on the ground. We've been glassing uh, for the last like 45 minutes and we can't pick anything up. We figured we would be able to find that buck because it was literally right below us where Joseph last saw him and uh, couldn't pick him up. I just started glassing further out in the flats and I picked up a pretty nice framed buck. It's a totally different deer. But man, I'd shoot him. He's a sweet buck. Um, but it's too late. It's almost dark. I wouldn't be able to get on him in time tonight. Um, so we'll have to come back in the morning and maybe we can find that other buck because when I spotted him he was bedded and um, He just got up and it's like man. We probably have 15 minutes left of, left of light. So um, We will uh, have to come back in the morning and hopefully we can find something uh, In the morning and get a stock on it, but we do know there's two shooter bucks in here. So that's exciting Did. When he was bedded there, that's what I noticed. I'm like, well, that looks like an old deer. Man, he's just... Oh, that's the... Talk about killable. I know. He just blows it around. Totally. It's like 9.45 maybe? It is 9.48. Um, we, I was just getting ready to give up. We're just like kind of half-heartedly scanning. Literally, he's a little closer to us. He's closer? Yeah. I just found him. I was just going to leave and go home. Um, oh, yes. We've seen... One small buck by himself cruising. We saw another small buck by himself cruising. I've seen does out here, uh, does over here, like five groups of javelina. Man, finally this buck pops up. I knew he was there. Hopefully we can get a stock on this thing. Battery too. Just talk to him about it. see the swirl that he's bedded underneath so I'm thinking I'm about a hundred yards away as I was crawling into position I knew this buck had to be bedded right here because this was a very unique swirl that he was bedded near I came around this bush and I could see the tops of his antlers so I crouched here and waited for the next hour or more waiting for him to get up See him? Okay, well, that was disappointing. I, um, I had that buck at 55 yards in his bed, and I was just crawling in on him. I got to about as far as I felt like I could go, um, and then he started kind of looking in my direction, so I knew he could hear me. So I stopped, and I could see his head, and I waited there for at least an hour waiting for him to get up maybe more he wouldn't get up and I kind of saw him like starting to wrestle around a little bit so I got everything ready 
got my release on and uh, I saw him stand up so I stood up with him and drew my bow and he immediately looked up and saw me and I like had the pin on him just kind of settling it in and shot I felt really good about the shot very good about the shot and he jumped the string and he just he whirled so fast completely missed him and I know it wasn't me he, he jumped it he took off and Joseph has eyes on where he bedded again so I'm gonna try to get back on him we'll see but man I was so close I thought I had that buck I thought for sure I had that buck uh, that one just didn't work out it was man it was close I really thought I was gonna get that buck um, especially when he stood up like I had him I had him dead to rights that thing stood up I stood up drew same time I was just trying to clear some brush and uh, if I'd have stayed on my knees it might have worked out better he might not have seen me and I could have drew but I was worried that there was gonna be some brush in my way so I, I stood up but uh, when I shot, he just, man, he, he knew I was there. He was looking at me when I shot and he just whirled and jumped my string and uh, missed him, thankfully. Thankfully I didn't wound him, but um, man, thought I was gonna get that buck.